As you can see, my colony is thriving and recently I have snails all over my aquarium. However, I don't see this as a problem and I'll soon explain why. Many aquaries will tell you to get rid of your snails by using different products, blackouts or starving them to death. In this video, I'll give you three much more efficient solutions, which are even gonna be very beneficial for your fish and snails too. Solution number one is of course selling them for profit. Many aquarists do enjoy having snails and may like to purchase some from you. You can also find out if your local fish store won't be interested in getting some. However, because these snails reproduce so quickly, there is not that high demand for these guys on the market. Second solution is selling them as a food. There are many different kinds of fish which eat snails. If you know aquarists that keep them, you may be able to provide stable source of food for these fish. If you have snail eating fish like for example pea puffers yourself, it's even better as you can provide them with a great live food supplement of their diet. There are also many reptiles that are eating aquatic snails and therefore that may be a market for you as well. Last solution is my favorite and from all solutions mentioned I'm using this one the most. If you have omnivorous or carnivorous fish, they would most likely also eat snails. The only problem is that they cannot approach them because of the shell. So you can collect juvenile snails from your aquarium, crack them on a glass like shown in the video, and feed them to your fish. Now this method has two main benefits for your aquarium. First is of course food source for your fish. Feeding snails once in a while will provide a great supplement of their diet as a light food. Now fish will only eat the snail and the cracked shell will stay in your aquarium. This is another great benefit of this method and here is the explanation why. When the snail dies, its shell will turn white. Now this is the result of the calcium that's the most important supplement for healthy growth of snail's shell. This means that empty shell is great source of calcium for the rest of the snails in a the tank. Therefore using this method you will provide both food for your fish and enough calcium for healthy growth of the rest of the snails in your tank. This is resulting in healthy and thriving colony of snails and also great diet supplement for your fish. Now as I've mentioned in previous videos, there are great cleaners for your tank. They'll consume algae from all surfaces in your tank and they won't eat your plants. The reason why many people hate them is exactly that they reproduce too quickly, but with the last suggested method, or like in my case with a combination of all three methods, you'll have their population under control and you only gain the benefits of keeping them.